Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our Summer Shine series. So now it's going to be part number three. We already went over with part number one where it was the washing process. Part number two was protecting the interior, but now part number three is going to consist of me applying a ceramic and a wax and sealant to this Veloster paint so I can make it shine its best and get it ready for summer. To start off by protecting any type of ride, we always recommend applying a ceramic coating first. A ceramic coating like HydroCharge is going to do an amazing job at bringing out hyperactive water beading. It's a spray formula, just spray it directly onto a microfiber applicator. So I actually have my soft microfiber applicator and what this microfiber applicator is going to allow me to do is going to allow me to get an even spread around the whole entire vehicle. So before using it, just shake up the product, spray directly onto your applicator. I like giving it four sprays. Now I will go to the corner I am working on and I'm just going to be working it in linear motions. So Hydro Charge is a ceramic infused spray coating that can be applied on all painted surfaces. That is correct. Painted surfaces are going to achieve hyperactive water beading. And as you guys can see, after I do a pass, I go over it, half over it, just so I could allow it to get an even spread. So how do you know when HydroCharge is cured? So HydroCharge is a versatile product that can be cured within seconds. All you need to do is let it sit from anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. HydroCharge instantly is going to bond onto the paint and it's going to achieve hyperactive water beading. So after I did half the portion of this hood, I am going to let it sit from anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. So how do you know how long you should let it sit. It all depends on your weather. So right now here in California, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's around like 76 degrees. So I'm actually going to let it sit from anywhere from a minute to two minutes. And if you're living in a high humid area where it's super hot, we recommend just allowing it to sit for 30 seconds and remove it using a soft microfiber towel. So now that HydroCharge has been sitting on the surface, I'll grab my microfiber applicator and I'm actually going to go as a cross hatching pattern. By doing this cross hatching pattern, I am allowing HydroCharge to get into all the pores of the paint the pores of the paint are all going to be protected and like this I avoid high spots. So HydroCharge, like I said, can be applied on all painted surfaces. Just apply it at a section at a time. Do not apply it all around your entire vehicle. Take a section at a time so like this you get an even coverage. So let me just finish doing my last pass. Now that I did my last pass, it is time to buff it off. So I'll grab a green workhorse microfiber towel and I just want to show you guys how easily my hydro charge comes off onto the surface. I mean, there's no type of elbow grease needed. Hydro charge buffs off immediately and it's instantly going to give you hyperactive water beading. So how do you know when you can move on to your next step to apply a glaze, a sealant, or a wax on your paint? We recommend allowing hydro charge to stay out of the harsh elements. Uh, by harsh elements, we mean no type of water whatsoever. Allow it to stay out of the harsh elements for three hours, then come back and apply a glaze, a sealant, or a wax, or you could let it sit for 24 hours, then come back and apply a glaze, sealant, or wax. I'm going to personally not allow it to come into contact with water for three hours. So now it is time for me to apply HydroCharge around the whole entire vehicle. And in three hours, I'll show you guys how to properly apply Hybrid VL7 liquid wax. like a dollar that tomorrow. All right guys, so now we're gonna be moving on to step number two, which is going to be applying a wax. So I'm going to be skipping over the glazing and sealing step because HydroCharge has brought out a tremendous shine and reflection, but I want something that's going to give it a warmer glow, especially because I have this orange Veloster. I believe this orange Veloster can get even more shinier. So today I'll be using Hybrid VO7 liquid wax. So Hybrid VO7 has three different types of technology in it. So one, to start off with, it has yellow grade A Carnuba, it has white, grade A Carnuba, and it also has optical select gloss enhancers, which is going to bring out any type of paint to its maximum shine and potential. So especially on light colored cars like yellow, orange, light blue, it's going to give it a super warmer shine. On the other hand, for dark color vehicles like black, dark silver, navy blue, it's going to give it a much cooler shine. So how to apply it? Just make sure to shake up your product to get everything properly mixed in. Then you'll get a microfiber applicator, just like a hydro charge, you will be applying two lines onto your microfiber applicator. 
Same thing as hydrocharge, just working it in linear motions and hybrid VO7 goes on with no type of elbow grease. Hybrid VO7 can also be applied on multiple different surfaces. To start off with, it can be applied onto paint. It could also be applied onto your glass, your headlights, your painted trim, as well as your chrome, and even your wheels. So like this, you can bring out the most shine, the most reflection on all those areas. And after you're done working in one area, just do the cross-hatching pattern to get an even spread. Work it in side to side and just do this whole entire process around the whole entire vehicle to get an even coverage. Finally, I want more protection and we're gonna be using Hydro Speed. So Hydro Speed can be used throughout the wash, in between wash if I should say, is just this is just going to be a quick detail spray. Say for example, Jason drives off and a bird dropping lands on here. This is when he grabs Hydro Speed and he just sprays it directly onto the surface and he'll wipe it one direction to remove it. But in this occasion, I am just using it for an extra additive boost of ceramic to enhance more shine and more reflection. How I like to explain detailing is a painting. The more you add to your painting, the better you get. So say for example, you have no type of clouds in your painting and you have some type of clouds, it's going to make your painting look a lot much better. Happy little clouds. So this is why I like applying a sealant, a glaze, a wax, or whatever I am applying to a paint, just so I can make it look better. In this occasion, I went with HydroCharge, Hybrid Video 7 Liquid Wax, and finally Hydro Speed. So guys, by using these little easy steps, and these products, I enhance the shine, I enhance the reflection, and nonetheless, I got the summer shine I was looking for. I want to show you guys the reflection and protection that these products gave to this Hyundai Veloster. So right now on the screen, you guys can see there's crazy hyperactive water beading. Nothing sticks onto the surface, it just beads right off. It makes drying a lot easier, and nonetheless, you avoid water spots. So this is how you stay protected using these three products, and now you can enjoy the Camel Guys shine, and drying process is going to be 10 times much easier because now your car is no longer sheeting water, it is beading water. So guys, if you guys liked this video today, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos on this Hyundai Veloster or any type of car, drop a comment down below. If you want to be featured on our Instagram, make sure to tag us at Camel Guys on every single Camel Guys picture you post. And we'll see you guys next time right here at the Camel Guys Detail Garage.